Saturday, the West Michigan, Indian, Bengali, and Bangladeshi communities are actually coming together to celebrate the Bengali New Year. And everybody is invited. We are happy to have some of the folks who are part of this event in our studio today. So, Shelley, why don't we start with you, if you would introduce yourself and the others. Yes, definitely. First, I would like to start saying Shubhu Nabobarshu, which means Happy New Year. Thank you. <laughs> to you as well. Thank you so much. I'm Shelley Sharif, and I am from the Bangladeshi community mm -hmm. of West Michigan. Next to me is Rashid Sajjad, and he's also from the Bangladeshi community of West Michigan. And then we have Hi, Sangeeta Ghosh, Sangeeta Ghosh from, from uh, uh, West, uh, Western, Western Michigan, Michigan Bengali Cultural Association. Association. And Babi Guha from the Western Michigan Bengali Cultural Association. We're so happy wow. to have you here because we want Thank to you. tell people about this event. It's going to be fantastic. So Rashid, why don't you tell us what happens this Saturday? Uh, so every year on April 14th, we mm -hmm. celebrate the Bengali New Year. Uh, this is the, uh, the a calendar that was uh, created by one of the Mog Mughal emperors for taxation purposes. Coincidentally, it's right before really? the tax day. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't do taxes that day. We do, <laughs> Thank we, do we, we celebrate the language of Bengali. We also celebrate the, the Bengali culture. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very secular event. It uh, uh, transcends beyond borders. As you can see, we, both the India and the Bangladeshi communities coming together to celebrate. This year, President Obama and Secretary of State uh, John Kerry expressed their Bengali New Year greetings and mentioned about the strong cultural heritage that it's been carrying over the centuries. Yeah, this is going to be a wonderful day, a celebration of lots of really rich, fun things too. Sangeeta, let's talk about these two communities coming together because they are on a map in right. a couple of different places but very connected. Exactly. Um, both uh, India and Bangladesh are uh, in the southeastern part of the world. Uh, we are two neighboring countries. Uh, we have a population of about 300 families in the Bangladeshi community and uh, Indian community close to about 800 to 1,000. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a growing community. Uh, I am part of the Western Michigan Bengali Association. I remember I've been a member since it was a small group and uh, now it has grown into a non-profit organization. Uh, the mission of the organization is to foster the Bengali culture, the heritage, the art, literature, the cuisine, and uh, uh, the Bengali values. Yeah. Uh, we try to inculcate that also in our next generation. Uh, it is such a rich culture, and we really want to talk about some of the, first, the mm -hmm. things that you're wearing. We're going to get to the food and music in mm -hmm. just a second. <laughs> but, Bobby, why don't you talk about the traditional outfits that you are wearing today? Absolutely. So, and as you can tell, you know, clothing is a big part of our festivities, you know. Um, most of our clothes, like if I'm going to point at Shelly here, hers is a, a traditional sari from a district in Bangladesh called Mirpur mm -hmm. and the sari is hand woven mm -hmm. um, <laughs> in gold so there's gold thread work on the sari mm -hmm. and then uh, as part of you know the clothing attire we also wear a lot of jewelry um, pure gold 24 karat jewelry mm -hmm. a lot of gems on the jewels yeah. so. mm -hmm. and men wear a kurta Men wear a long <laughs> tunic and kurta. They have it kind of easy. I think it's a lot easier. <laughs> so <laughs> they wear a kurta, and uh, you know, traditionally men wear uh, uh, Indian trousers, but more recently, you know, men wear jeans and a kurta on top to give a little more casual yeah. look to it. And you both look beautiful as well. But we want to get to the food, <laughs> so we have time to talk real quick about this. Shelly, you have in a number of really delicious-looking items. Why don't you tell us what they are and in, in what they're made of? Yes, definitely. I should mention that for Bengali culture, food is a passion. It's really a passion. So nothing is celebration is complete without food. This is a samosa, which is a stuffed pastry uh, with stuffing of potatoes and peas and cheese and and, 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 and this is a very interesting sweet. It's made a flour of graham um, powder, you know, the graham lentil. And it is uh, fried in deep oil with the food color in it. And then it's soaked in sugar syrup. It's very nice and tasty and it's very crunchy. And this is a famous Bengali Bengali sweet called rasgulla, rasgulla we say in Bengali and Bangla, and then it is made with curdled cheese and it's soaked in sugar syrup. Oh, it and looks so amazing! And this only touches the surface. Oh, this of is what's only be this there there on Saturday. <laughs> so give us a, a quick lowdown where people need to go and what time they need to be there to enjoy the fun. So mm -hmm. I think Rashid uh, knows about the event better. Uh, so it's going to be at the Keystone Community Church. Mm -hmm. uh, we are. Uh, 
going to uh, start the food part at noon and it's going to go until 3 o'clock and the cultural program starts right around 3 o'clock, goes until 5 o'clock. And everyone's invited. Everyone is invited. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the w you can yeah. go to the websites okay. uh, and also Google about Western Michigan Bengali Association to find the links. Oh, that is wonderful. Okay, well, I'm going to snack on some of this good stuff that you brought into our studio and then every wonderful celebration includes music. So let's send it over to Terry to find out more about that. Often one of the favorite ways we can learn about uh, culture is by listening to traditional music from all around the world. And today we have a sample of the Bengali sound in our studio with us today. We have Smitty Mujamdar playing the harmonium. So why don't we start off by uh, introducing us to uh, your friends that you have seated here with us today. Um, I'll, I'll start. I'm Smitty Mujamdar. I've been in the Grand Rapids area for the past seven years. Uh, and I'm part of the Western Michigan Bengali Cultural Association. With uh, me here, I have Sanjida, and I, I'm from St. Joseph, Michigan. Okay, wonderful. Uh, this is Rahat, I'm from St. Joseph, too. Wonderful. Yeah, this is Vishwanath, I'm from Jenison. Okay, fantastic. So why don't you tell me about the, the traditional music that um, really helps to celebrate your culture? Our language is Bengali, and the composition that we're going to sing is a composition by Rabindranath Tagore. Uh, he is a uh, late 19th and early 20th century poet, very prolific career. He uh, won the Nobel Prize for his uh, uh, um, compilation of poems called Gitanjali in 1913. And um, the particular composition that we are going to sing is invoking the new year uh, through the first month of Vaishak of our calendar. It's the summertime, um, scorching heat, but the poet sees optimism in that oppressive heat. Okay. To him, it is a time for rejuvenation, burning away everything that's old and done, and ushering in the new and the green and new hope. Yeah, it sounds terrific. So. And you know, Smitty, you and I were talking a few minutes ago, we're both moms, and you were talking about you have children, and ha what a wonderful opportunity this is by having this great celebration every year You're, for your own children to really connect to your heritage, their heritage, and to other families. Make yes. new friends. Yes. Yes. It's, it's, it's a bonding experience, and it's also a way of show, showcasing what we bring to this community as right. well. Right. Yeah. Um, so, uh, if I may talk about the instruments sure. that we want to play, this is um, is a very traditional um, instrument that accompanies most of the musics from eastern and northern India. Uh, it's called the harmonium. It's a wind instrument. It's it's like a modified organ. And uh, what Vishwanath has is our percussion instrument, and that's called the tabla. Wonderful. So, uh, again, that is also a uh, favorite rhythm accompaniment with any kind of either instrumental or vocal music. Wonderful. Well, why don't you take it away? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 